Stockton police are warning people to be careful when going out at night after noticing some patterns in the city's most recent murders. KCRA 3 is Danica Hill joining us live from Stockton. And Danica, you spoke with some people around town. What do they have to say about this new warning? Yeah, it's been a mix of reaction out here. Some people saying they're afraid, others saying this won't stop them from their day to day activities. But police are warning people to be vigilant. Don't be a victim. Stockton Police Chief Stanley McFadden shutting down rumors of a possible serial killer in the area. I'm here to tell you that we do not have that information that we have a serial killer in Stockton. While also pointing out similarities in recent homicides. Some of these crimes committed in, in the late hours of the night or the extreme early morning hours you know, before people are up and out and about. Here's a map outlining some of the homicides in the last 30 days. One happening on Sikh Temple Road, just a few feet away from the temple. It's a too, 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 too much. It's not mean the two day or yesterday. It's a long time. The temple now increasing security. Yeah, I'm scared. Everybody's scared. But on the other side of town, some residents say they aren't too worried. To be honest with you, I do feel safe. I even walk it sometimes to the Planet Fitness, come back over here. It's it's cool. One of the most recent homicides happening Tuesday, just before 2 a.m. in the Lincoln Village neighborhood. I heard the shots. I was uh, like a couple of minutes before seeing it, to be honest with you, because I was out here. Then I went inside and I was going to come right back out. But once I heard it, I heard a couple shots and then I came out and all I heard was just a car boom. Police adding as they continue to investigate these homicides, they want people to keep their head on a swivel. We want folks to walk together to be indoors when they can. Um, you know, some other similarities are it's very dark places where these incidents are happening, you know, and, and, and people are by themselves. The Stockton Police Department says they're also adding a team of detectives, crime scene analysts, task force, and more to help with these investigations. In Stockton, Danica Hill, KCRA 3 News. And Danica, is there something that people in the community can do to help with this situation? Yeah, so Stockton police are actually asking people to review their um, ring cameras or if you have cameras like that, they say what might seem like a quiet night might not actually truly be that way when you go back and look at the video. And they're also offering a reward for anything that helps lead to an arrest. Yeah, it is tough for police to do their jobs if the community doesn't come forward. Danica Hill, live for us. Thank you so much.